The sweep tool is another interesting tool for creating a surface. There are two different varieties here, sweep one rail, sweep two rails. For now we're going to use sweep one rail. Now if you think about that concept, sweeping a rail, it sounds a little bit like what actually happens. To start with you need a rail curve and for simplicity I'll create a circle. Think of this as the rail or sort of like a track that a second curve is actually going to move along to create a shape. I'll turn off snap so that I can have a little more freedom of movement here. And we'll create kind of a funky curve there. As you can see, I'm in my front viewport here so that I'm looking head on the edge of my circle. So in the perspective viewport, you can see this. Now this curve here is actually going to use the second curve, the circle, as its basis and swing around it creating shape. I can just highlight both of these save me a couple of seconds sweep one, one rail and here we have freeform road like two different ways to do it we'll leave it on freeform for now do not simplify closed sweep as I actually already checked it's going to go all the way around we can choose global shape bending we'll leave that as the default press OK let's see what we've got well as you can see the curve has been looped around the circle to create this shape. Now this shape, since it's perfectly round, you could also create with a revolve tool. So why don't we do something that the revolve tool would not be able to do. Let's deform our circle a little bit. I'm going to bring this point in here, this point in there, bring this up this back here. Okay, now let's create another curve here. Just kind of a random sort of thing. It can be a closed or open curve, by the way. Your cross-section curve. Select both, surface, sweep one rail. As you can see, this made sort of an odd figure eight type shape. And part of the reason for that is that I have these hard corners. There's one here and there's one down here. So what if I wanted to have it a little cleaner? Well, to remedy that, we could go edit, rebuild our rail curve. 20 should be good. We'll delete the original curve. And now let's try that again. Surface, sweep, one rail, OK. Much better. So the sweep one rail tool can be really useful for creating sort of an edging, a border, the outside of a table. As you can see, there's a lot of different uses for it. The rail curve itself can be any shape. It could be a square, it could be a pentagon, anything you like.